What's going on guys? Got a work order to replace the air filter and check the AC to make sure it's cooling properly. And it's 76 in here and we're set at 70. And the filter definitely does ain't changed. I brought a new filter with, so we'll throw that in. Doesn't sound like the compressor's on because I don't really hear any refrigerant moving, so we'll go outside and check the condenser. Okay, we're at the outdoor unit and it is not running. So I'll take the panel off here and we'll see what's going on. Contactor is sucked in. Capacitor doesn't look blown or anything like that, so let's see if we got power going through the contactor. It looks like we got a little friend stuck on top of the contactor. Do not have 240 coming through the contactor. So make sure we got it coming in. So we got 240 coming in the contactor, so we don't have it coming out the top. And looks like our diagnostic, the core sense here, blinking twice, which is compressor trips. So we'll run up, grab a new contactor, and we'll swap it out. Should get this unit up and running. Okay, we got the power off to the unit. I got my leads on the bottom of the contactor, not getting any voltage across them. Now we'll put, put one on ground and nothing there and nothing there. So the power is off and I shut the thermostat off because the contactor is not calling anymore as you can see. Pull the low voltage wires off. It's the yellow and the red. And take the wires off the top, the two black. two red on the right. And there's our little frog that got zapped.
Here's our new contactor. So let me get this mounted up here and I'll be right back. Alright, I got the contactor mounted in place. I needed two hands for that. These wires here at the bottom were it's a tight fit. So we got those two in and now we'll hook up the low voltage. Got our low voltage on, and now at the top. Two reds. And the two blacks on this side. And while we're here, we'll check out the uh, capacitor, make sure it's in range. So, the brown is your fan. The yellow is your compressor. And the red and the purple are your commons on these Goodman and Manas. So we'll put one lead on our common. Check the fan first. Yeah, we should be getting around five. Four point nine. So that's good. And now we'll check the compressor side. We should be getting around thirty. Twenty-nine point two. So it looks like we're good there too. Okay, yellow is our compressor. Red and purple are your commons. And brown's your fan. Yeah, if that uh, compressor side would have been 28.5 or lower, I would have swapped out the cap. It's a 30 slash 5, but we we're at 29.2, so we're within the range. And this unit, I don't think I told you, but it's, uh, it's an Amana 13 sear, 1.5 ton. And for that core sense uh, inside the panel here, they give you a little troubleshooting guide here for all your statuses for your solid reds uh, all the yellow flashes so I see lock lock on flash codes there and alert flash codes and it gives you you know an example of what it could be but with this one we knew we didn't have 240 coming through the contactor here so should be good to go now So I'll turn the power on and uh, go in and call for a cooling and come back out and make sure it fires up. Alright, we've got the thermostat calling for cooling. Putting the breaker back in now. I just heard it fire. and running. Alright, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.